Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2022 Kia EV6, we're gonna be checking out the Kuat Sherpa platform style bike rack. First impression of the rack on the back of the Kia, I think it's a good fit actually. It's relatively compact for what it is and it's relatively lightweight as well. Uh, generally speaking for real nice platform style racks like this, uh, a lot of times they got quite a bit of weight to them and it's really not the case with this one, um, which is good because a lot of times electric vehicles aren't rated to handle a ton of weight. So wherever you can save there, that's definitely beneficial. And it kind of makes sense. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of uh, this particular rack on electric vehicles. And so, uh, you know, I think it's just a good fit for them in general, um, not only the EV6. But with that said, one of the cool things about this um, is it's gonna come in a few different colors. So you can kinda, of, um, you know, find the one you like the best, what one matches your car the best. Pretty good example today, we got the gray one on our gray car and kinda of just kind of just goes together. Uh, I do want to address one of the things that a lot of people wonder, and that is, are you still gonna be able to get into the back of your Kia whenever you have the bike rack on? And with this one, the answer is yes. All right, and you can even fold this down when you have the bikes on the rack. So whenever you are ready to, to uh, get into the trunk, what you're gonna do is just hit this lever and then this will fold down and then you're able to open up the hatch and get anything you might need in and out of the back and got quite a bit of clearance here and a lot of room to work. This particular rack can hold up to a total of two bikes and the way it's going to do it uh, is by using a frame hook and a wheel strap. So there's no frame contact. Um, here's that other strap. And so you're going to be able to use this with all the different types of bikes that have you know, carbon frames or whatever the case might be because you're not going to be applying pressure to the frame of it. But uh, we'll go ahead and get the bike off take a better look at the rack. I do always suggest starting at the back here. So that's just a strap you pull out and then make sure you got a hold of the bike because once you undo this, no one's gonna be holding it. You push in that button, swing that on down and then you have more than enough space to uh, get this out of the way. So obviously whenever you're, you know, done using the rack, you wanna store it properly so there's a little tray here where your wheel would sit in, close that down, take your wheel hook and tuck that away as well. And something you need to think about whenever you have the rack on the back of your Kia, it is going to extend the overall length of it, right? So uh, if you're trying to figure out if this will fit in your garage with the bikes loaded on it, whatever the case may be, you can use this measurement. So from the back bumper to the very edge of the rack, Looks like it's gonna be right at about 30 and a half inches. It's not really taking up a, a ton of space there. However, when you're not using it, this does fold up to a stored position. So you push on the lever and swing this up. And I actually really like how it fits. You know, nice and tight against the back of our vehicle and uh, looks clean and, and everything else. So probably the furthest point from here will be our knob down here. And in this position, take that same measurement from our bumper to it, and it looks like it's only going to add about 14 inches. So with the like this, you really shouldn't have to worry about running into any issues uh, when you do go to pull into your garage or maybe even a tight parking spot. So this rack is gonna work with the two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Kia. They give you a locking uh, hitch pin as well, so it'll be secured to your vehicle. And then if you come out and you, when you put this in, this knob here, you can tighten it down. What that's gonna do is eliminate any slop or play there in the connection point and keep things nice and quiet so you won't hear this clunking around. And I feel like that's especially important with an electric vehicle because you don't have that, you know, the engine noise uh, like you normally would. Um, so that's a good feature there. Kind of give you an example on how that's gonna work. Say for going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that this is gonna move with our Kia and not on its own. This is our test course. 
Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. Other than that, at the end of the day, uh, Kuat makes really high quality bike racks. Um, it's a good fit for the EV6. And because of the way it looks, this is one that you could just leave on the back of it, uh, even when you weren't riding if you wanted to. And that'll finish up our look at of the Kuat Sherpa platform style bike rack on our 2022 Kia EV6.